Hello and welcome to LiveWise by Holdsell. I'm Ali Selby and today we will be discussing three innovative stocks ready for takeoff. Plus, we've asked our fundies to bring along one underappreciated stock that is light years ahead of its competition. I'm joined by Heath Benneke from Holon and Michael Frazes from Frazes Capital Partners. First up, we have Billy Billy, which is kind of like a mix between TikTok and YouTube. It's a Chinese video sharing website. Heath, I'll start on you. Is it a buy, hold or sell? Uh, for us as a buy, Ali, we've got it in the portfolio. You know, the young ones are really gravitating this in China. A couple hundred million users active on the platform. A hell of a lot of engagement. You look at their engagement stats, it's through the roof. Uh, unbelievable at 83 minutes a day on average. And we see that actually there's a very, very big market opportunity for them to compound at very hefty rates uh, in terms of 25 to 30% in terms of the underlying user growth over the next uh, probably th uh, two to three years and then start to monetize that. So we should start to see them move into significant profitability. Over to you, Michael. As Heath mentioned, it hasn't been able to turn a profit yet, but its share price rose around 70% over the past year. Is it a buy, hold or sell? Uh, look, it's a hold for us. It's a fascinating company, clearly winning on engagement. Um, there's two things that worry us. The first thing is that it is losing money. And the second thing in, is that the political regime in, um, in China is targeting those kind of user engagement, so user engagement and trying to figure out how they can stop um, children spending so much time glued to their screens. So I do worry that Billy Billy is in the wrong place, the wrong time with respect to the next set of regulations that come around governing that kind of thing. So that's why it's a hold and not a buy for us. Staying on you, Michael, next we have Galaxy Digital. It's a cryptocurrency focused financial services firm. Is it a buy, hold or sell? Uh, this is a definite buy for us. Um, what Mike Novogratz, the kind of founder is trying to build is a full service investment bank. Um, so they'll do capital markets, you know, prime brokerage, uh, deal with institutional clients, uh, advisory, and also venture capital. And I think, again, it's, it's a market leader. So they'll be able to track the best investment opportunities, the best talent, uh, and have the best growth trajectory as well. So definite buy. It has had a fantastic growth trajectory. Its share price has lifted around 470% over the past 12 months. Heath, over to you. Is it a buy, hold, or sell? Uh, look, Mark Novogratz, who's the leader here and founder, is um, you know being very, very instrumental in, in leading the charge on institutionalizing crypto. He's in a great position, um, and so look for us. It's kind of in the smaller end because the average market cap of what we look at is very large, two and a half billion. If I was looking down there, it would be a buy. I absolutely, he's actually right across the spectrum when it comes to providing and you can think of it as the golden goldmans for crypto in many ways with what he's actually looking to uh, achieve over time. So I think he's got a He's got a great reputation and um, he's attracting the right people to execute on a very, very large uh, vision. Next up, we have Walt Disney. Its share price has risen around 40% over the past year and about 107% since the lows last year. But then again, who hasn't been streaming? Staying on you, Heath, is it a buy, hold or sell? Uh, for me, this is a sell. I'm not like I, I tend to have a, a preference for businesses that are quite focused, and of course, Walt Disney's got a foot in one camp and a foot in the other. They've done really well with the streaming, but for us, it would be yeah, it's not one that's not really of interest. Over to you, Michael. It's got a forward PE of around 72 times and a market cap of 324 billion. Is it a buy, hold, or sell? Uh, it's a hold for us because there's things we like and there's things we don't. I mean, the things we like is it's a recovery play going into recovery. Um, which is excellent. Uh, and we did, we used to like the streaming, but now it's very clear that streaming is, is quite saturated in the United States. Um, so the combination of those two things, kind of slowing down the streaming market, where they're going to be investing a lot of money and sinking a lot of cash, um, and then a, a one-off recovery. Um, for us, it's interesting, but not as compelling as it was, you know, say a year ago um, when streaming was growing much faster. So it's a hold. Okay, Michael, I'm absolutely chomping at the bit for what your next answer is. We've asked you to bring along an innovative company that has been undervalued by the market. What is your company for us today? Uh, the company I'm bringing is Open Doors. So this is a, a US company that basically buys houses at, at a small discount um, to what they calculate using AI and algorithms, the fair value to be. And the reason that's compelling is because selling a house is a pain in the neck. There's multiple, in the US there's buyers agents and selling agents all kinds of commissions. Open door will give you them your money uh, within a week with one inspection. So make the thing so much faster and easier. And again, we 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 don't look for we we don't have opinions on these things. We look for traction, and it's growing extremely fast. Um, and if you think about it, there's only a few sectors that were resistant 
to e-commerce. They're kind of autos, luxury fashion, really high in luxury fashion and real estate. And both of those first two have cracked, you know, Carvana in autos, um, Setar and Farfetch in, in luxury fashion. And we think Open Door will do the best and, and is doing the best in trying to bring that internet revolution to the real estate space. So that's why we're excited about it. Awesome. Thank you so much. Heath, over to you, your time in the hot seat. What innovative company have you brought for us today? Yeah, Ali, the innovative current armor is uh, Roku, which is really providing the, the operating system for the world to um, digitize TV. So you think of it as like the Microsoft operating system, what they did, you think of a very uh, analogy like that. And they're kind of like a, like Netflix like five years ago and that and starting to roll that uh, out uh, globally. And it's very clear in the last 12 to 18 months or so, it's about to consolidate is that that platform, um, people recognizing the, the position um, they're, uh, they're actually in. And, and particularly also post COVID too, where I think a lot of advertisers are uh, really starting to understand the benefit of shifting from analog to digital um, TV. So we've got to find that we think they've got a very big uh, future ahead of them. And again, this is a company it's taken like uh, 18 years to build, uh, but they're right at that tipping point where you're going to start roll out the plan globally. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Michael and Heath. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Buy, Hold, Sell. If you did, why not give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're adding new content every week.